Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at something very strange. And this is called the Anglerfish Research Station, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is a giant space station with a fish strapped to it. And that's about it. So press the F10 and find us in this form menu. The Anglerfish Research Station is 2,455 large blocks using pretty much all the DLC packs. We have no other information about it other than it's made for the Chonk Army Discord, where I have seen that before on a few other designs. But anyway, giving this thing a thumbs up, which I already have, I don't know where to start with this thing, so I suppose we'll start with the fish in the middle, we'll have a look around the outside, have a look toward the interior, and then that'll be that for this station. So, right where I'm standing is in the mouth of our anglerfish, where as we can see, we've got ourselves a beacon which acts as that little bioluminescent part that sticks out at the front and attracts prey into its mouth. We also got some great use of our sci-fi steel blocks acting as the eyes and due to the little graphical mod I've got installed, it's become very reflective. There we are. We also have some fantastic use of our rusted steel blocks in that sort of dark brown fleshy colour just to give it a very lifelike look. If we to come a bit closer past all of our lovely white teeth, we can see this little tongue where I'm standing. Moving around onto the side, there is this eye, there is the beacon. If I was to put my life on to the opposite side so we have the sunlight. We can see we do have a few pipes and a walkway going to the main body. It's a little bit morbid, but you see that a bit later on. Yes, towards the back of the fish, we've got some fins and out some window blocks. This just simply comes all the way around towards the back, and we can clearly see how it's been attached onto the station. And well, it's firmly trapped in there, so you don't need to worry about it getting loose and attacking you. But as for the rest of the station, we've got this lovely metal ring going all the way around it that connects up two little pods. The pod on the right hand side is our main way in and out. This is going to feature our medical bay and our living quarters. On the opposite side, this is our hangar bay where we can store at least two ships inside it. And it has a bunch of cargo containers sticking out the back. Yes, coming around to this side, we'll see our hangar bay doors, which will open up and reveal to us a small lower area. You can probably fit more than two ships inside here, maybe like three or four inside it, but that's up to you. Anyway, looking down it, we can see some solar panels at the front. We can see a bunch of reactors, we've got hydrogen engines, we even have assemblers and refineries on this, a full scale refinery, so it is good for survival mode. Then across the middle there, looking down at our fish, and to the opposite side of our living quarters, we do have a big radar dish, some decoration. If we were to drop down and come underneath this, past this part, that's our doorway in and out of a bunch of merge box and a connector. What we can see is an ore detector, and of course we've got our modules, and then here's our steel ring, getting blinded by the sunlight. Then to the opposite side, let's try and get rid of that sun. There we are, that should do quite nicely. We see the bottom of our solar panels, even more hydrogen engines, even more reactors, and how it's all been connected up, and goes across to our cargo containers. And with that all done out of the way, that's a very brief look around the outside. Now we can get out of the fish's mouth and come around to the doorway. Because it is a bloody fantastic angler fish, it's really well done, especially with the skin to make it actually look like the actual skin of the fish. And I do like the little part at the front there, made out of the beacon. Anyway, round here, next to our merge box, this is our doorway in and out. We'll open it up and be greeted by a double door. Now, there is no scripts on here, there is no mods, so the doors will not close automatically, so that is something you can add on yourself, if you do want to have it all automatically closed behind you. Coming in there, closing that, opening up this, we now have a small little junction of a few ways to go. The door in the middle is going to go to the inside of the fish. On the left hand side, this is going to be to our little living quarters, we've got a table, planters, and a few cryopods, and of course, our little survival kit. We also have a fantastic view out the window here at this lovely skybox, which will be in the description below if you are interested in it. It's very nice, quite moody, and well, can be quite dark on certain planets. But yes, we now leave this, come to the opposite side. This will be our medical bay room. We've got a bunch of little scanners along the side here, a bunch of lab tables, a few planters. There's our full on medical bay in the background, so we can change our outfit if we need to. And once again, a fantastic view. And we can just about make out the teeth of the fish in the background there. So coming out of this room, past this part, it's now time to go across towards the fish. And yes, we've got to go across the walkway, which is open to the elements. So once again, a double door. Here we go. And now we're on the outside. Walking all the way across, looking up, we're quite exposed out here. We now come across this doorway. And now we're on the inside of the fish. Let's go and close that up. Yes, like I said earlier, it's quite morbid on the inside here. It's well, quite literally on the inside. We've shoved a giant hydrogen tank, which must be pretty damn uncomfortable. There's another lab table, a few lockers, a gravity generator. And yes, that is pretty much it for the inside here. Anyway, opening up this door, we now got to come to the opposite side. This little walkway is basically the same as what we just saw. So if we look up to the outside, then walking all the way across and opening up this doorway. 
So closing that, opening up and closing that. This is our hangar bay, which we saw at the very side of the thing with both our hangar bay doors. It's got two little pads, one there, one there, and that's pretty much it for the inside. Okay, yeah, so we'll come across to here. That's what it looks like from this section. So yes, yeah, so like I said, you could probably fit maybe three or four ships inside here if you squeeze it all the way in. Maybe attach it on the top if you made them nice and flat. That's entirely up to you. But we do have a few controls on this button panel and they're being clearly labeled. But the middle one's coming from our vent. So we can now depressurize this area. And then of course we've got our left and right buttons to open up our gates. And there we go with that. Yes, with that all done and out of the way, that's pretty much it for the station has to offer. It's a bloody fantastic station. I absolutely love the angular fish in the middle. Very well done. Very, very unique for design. And there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. I highly recommend you do. Can I get the sunlight all the way onto it? Yes, I can. And yes, like I said, there'll be a link to it in the description below along with the skybox. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.